Banana Island is home to some of the most expensive and prestigious properties in Africa. It's also home to the highest concentration of billionaires on the continent. 36 occupants of this island own private jets. Inside Banana Island is one of the most luxurious buildings which we are going to be exploring today. It's called the Guglielmo de Medici, named after the Medici family, which was a powerful family that captured the ideals and principles of the Florence Renaissance. The Guglielmo has eight luxury five-bedroom terrace apartments and two of the best penthouses in Lagos. It also has a three-car garage, a cinema, and a general pool. Recently, our very own David, who is currently one of the biggest musical artists in Africa, with a couple of million records under his belt, purchased one of the units in this multi-million dollar mansion. This building was designed by Sujimoto Construction, which is one of the top luxury real estate development companies in Africa. Thanks to them for allowing me to tour this building. This video is not sponsored in any way. I'm going to be taking you through this architectural edifice and reacting to what's inside this amazing building. I got the video shot in Lagos, but I'm currently in South Africa, Johannesburg, so I'm not going to be walking through this video physically. I'm just going to be taking you through it and also sharing my thoughts about the building, about the pricing, and about a whole lot of other stuff. It has a total of 10 apartments, two on the rooftop, which are the penthouses, and eight five-bedroom luxury terrace apartments. I actually really love the color of the building. I love the color they went to it. It sort of stands out from all the other buildings out there. It's really big, it's really massive. We've seen enough of the outdoors, let's go indoors. So I think they have a pool in the building, and from what I'm guessing, this pool is probably a five-foot pool. So yeah, it has a nice pool. I actually love the glass finishing. They had a lot of glass finishings on the walls. I like the way the designer of this house, which is Sujimoto, crested his name on it. It shows you how proud of the building he is. And if you can look up right here, you can see there are some CCTV cameras just to show you how secure this estate is. Also, if you're trying to get into Banana Island, they changed the security code like everyone are. So if you are not a resident, you won't be able to get access to the residential area. Or if you don't know somebody who stays there who can give you the code, you won't be able to get access to this estate. So when it comes to security, I think it's also the most secured estate in Lagos. Oh, nice. Automated gates. It opens by itself and closes. So as you're just driving in, you don't need to get down. There doesn't need to be like a gate man or anything. You just click on the remote and the gate opens up. You can see the whole of the Lagos Lagoon from here. And then you can also see some other smaller sized houses, which are also really expensive too. The average pricing of properties in Banana Island, I think from 300 to 500 million. Most of the houses I've seen are around the average price. Oh, they have a fire escape, which you can get access to if any mishap happens. So let's walk right in. So this is the first floor we're looking at now. And I think from the door, we can see that it has some sort of key card, like those ones you see in hotels. And then when you open the front door, you get to see the elevator. Having an elevator in your house is insane because you don't want to use the stairs again. You just go into your elevator and just click it. It's part of what shows that a house is luxurious. Buying an elevator, I think most elevators have an average price of like $50,000. It's depending on the size. So I think this elevator looks like a three to four person max elevator. First floor has the sitting room area and what's this? Oh, these are nice chairs. It has Bentley's Bentley's logo crested on it. Nice. You can see the, the marble tabletop looks really exquisite. Oh, and there's like a statue. This is a statue. It's like the bust of a statue of somebody, probably one of the Italian families. And then we move into the bigger sitting room. This is nice. I love the furniture. I love the old chocolate and white feel. It has this luxury feeling to it. Let's keep moving. Oh, is this Amadou Bello? It's like Amadou Bello on a horse on the wall. Oh, 
now let's enter the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen is really dope. Ooh. My favorite part of this is this light fixture that is hanging from the ceiling. It looks like all those rings, a lot of rings. Ooh. Bosch. Most of the appliances in this house were made by Bosch, which is a German manufacturer of household equipment. And then the tap, I think the tap has this thing that you can pull out if you're trying to wash dishes. You know those taps that have this detachable hose that you pull out if you want to wash dishes. It looks really nice. I love the finishing. Looks really, really dope. Looks really, really dope. I just wish I was actually at this house to actually move around and touch everything. You know, I like moving around in houses. Those who have seen my related videos will know about it. Ooh, is that a wine cellar? That's like a wine cellar just right there. Also made by Bosch. And then an induction cooker. I actually love induction cookers. From what I've heard and from what I've seen, Banana Island is one of the only estates in Lagos, Nigeria that has 24 hours electricity. If you ask me, I don't think 24 hours electricity is a luxury. We just make it a luxury in Nigeria. It's something everybody's meant to have. There are curtains that you just click a button and then the curtain opens by itself. Electronic curtains and then they close by themselves. Oh, nice. This is the private sitting area. If you just want to chill with your family and close friends and you don't want to chill like the main area, this is an extra sitting room area where you can chill. master's bedroom. It has its own private sitting room area. The window blinds are also automatic, which is really nice. You just wake up in the morning and like, like that Lion King song. And then you just press the button and the blinds just open up. But on island is also still in development phase. It's not fully crowded like almost all areas in Lagos. I think it's also one of the estates they actually sat down to plan. <laughs> Guys, check out this closet. You know you know how rich is when you have closets like this. This is a walk-in closet. Well, I don't know what to say again. This is really, really beautiful. For somebody who is living here, a celebrity like Davido, you probably need to keep a lot of shoes and a lot of clothes, you know? <laughs> what kind of mirrors are these? The person who designed this thing was uh, a very prominent designer, Porcelanosa, Porcelain. I think it's gotten from the word porcelain, which is the material they used to make many of all these ceramics. Bathtub where you can sit down and just soak in, just bask in like a bubble bath, and just chill and think about all your problems and how you're going to solve them. have a control panel to control everything in the house. Nice. This house just screams luxury. This house is making me feel like I'm broke. I love the distinction or the merger between architecture, design, and interior decoration. Like the design is really, really, really nice. Even the colors they picked, they are colors that actually make the place pop. Almost every room has a sitting area here where you can just chill. So now it's even really hard to distinguish between the master bedroom and the, the other bedrooms. They all look exquisite, they all look big. They all have a view. I think the house speaks for itself.
showers are those electronic type of showers. You can see the buttons on it. Just push to start. Everything is becoming push to start. They don't want you to stress and start pressing buttons. They just want you to touch it. Just a light tap. A light tap and then the showers will start pouring on your body. And then there's a small ribbon on the bed. <laughs> this is like a Valentine setting. Woo. See those lights? Oh, they have these mirrors that when you click on the button, the light goes off. When you click on the button, the light comes on. I think I showed this one in my $3 million house that was also in Banana Island. You guys should check out my other videos on my other properties. I'm going to link some of them above. For a building that was previously sold at 350 million off plan and then being resold at 500 to 600 million there when it was completed, that's a hefty return on investment. A lot of people, including me, used to ask myself why properties in Lagos were really expensive compared to what you can get for the same amount in some other areas. I'm beginning to realize that the land space in Lagos is limited, which puts a peg on the supply thereby making demand rise and price rise too. Despite the obvious lack of infrastructures in Lagos, it is still a great place to invest in real estate, which has a great edge against inflation, as residential real estate pricing in Lagos, Nigeria hardly ever drops. Uh, I hope you guys loved the video. You guys should comment below which room you thought was your most favorite. Just share your thoughts on this house. Those who listen to the video's music, or even those that are whiskey fans, just tell me what you think about this house. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. See y'all, take y'all, catch y'all later.